Hey everyone, welcome to a quick update video on SimpleCube Ultra version 2. So here I have the printer printing. This is at 3000 acceleration and 150 millimeters a second on perimeters and infill. Let's try to showcase a bit faster print speed on this printer. Um, it's sitting on my desk right now, which is not stable even in the slightest. Um, I have really thick carpet in my office here and my desk kind of wobbles really quite a bit. So ignore kind of the wobbling for now. It's not a good indication on rigidity of anything. This desk wobbles like crazy. So, okay, so we have the frame revision. I've taken the printed corners off and I'm using these three-way corners here off of Amazon. So I completely disassembled and reassembled the entire printer using those corners. I have updated my build lengths from 450 to 500 because of that. Because as you see here, you actually lose 30 millimeters total of top height here. So this height, you lose 30 millimeters of that. You can see here, my, my tool head is almost sticking out the top now. So I've increased the size of this to 500 millimeters. That's the standard spec now. Doesn't change the Z height at all. These are still 300 millimeter um, linear rails. So that's an update for that. I do now have a GitHub for this printer with the STLs on it. Please note it is a work in progress. There might be a couple parts here or there that are missed. If you have any um, issues or anything like that, you can comment below or feel free to join my Discord. There will be a Discord link in the description. I'll set the link to not expire as well, so it should be a valid Discord link. You'll also find a bill of materials on the GitHub for this printer now as well. So going forward, I have most everything on there with some rough numbers on how much this printer will cost. Um, please note that no bolts or screws are on this. Um, I just haven't had the time to go through and itemize every single little bolt. Uh, it's relatively straightforward as far as uh, sizes and stuff like that. Like M5, I use all M5 by 10 millimeters. I use that on the whole printer. Um, these M5 bolts here, I believe are 35 millimeters. I'll try to correct that in the bill of materials once I start adding bolts. And then generally um, for 3D printing in general, I always keep on hand 50 of each size of M3. So M3 by eights, 10s, 12s, 20s, 25s, 30s, 35, 40, and 50. I keep 50 of those each on hand. I do not recommend buying those from Amazon. It's a big ripoff. Try to buy those from Granger in Canada or McMaster Car, an actual bolt supplier. You'll get a much, much better deal. Um, you can buy about a thousand bolts for about $50 from Granger in Canada. I actually ordered 2,000 for a hundred bucks and I've been using those for a long time. It's a good to keep all sorts of sizes on hand for any sort of 3D printing projects. So. But I, I do hope to update the uh, bill of materials eventually with the actual bolt sizes and things like that. But The bill of materials also does not have anything to do with the tool head. Again, this is customizable to the user. So I do have the Fadus listed on there, but you can put whatever tool head you want and it will change what stepper motor you need for the extruder, that type of thing. So I don't have anything on there for that. So that's kind of a quick overview on the printer. Like I say, GitHub is in the description below. Please feel free to join my Discord. And uh, I am still thinking about a name change here for the printer. Just make it a little bit uh, easier to say. SimpleCube Ultra version 2 is getting a little bit lengthy. Um, I'm tossing around the idea of changing it to Simple Core. Just straight Simple Core. I think that's a really good idea. Um, one of my subscribers suggested that and it seems to be uh, the most popular one. So you might actually see the GitHub in the description be called Simple Core. I think that fits the printer uh, pretty well. Uh, much simpler name and we'll use that going forward. So again everyone, uh, 
I really appreciate all the interest in this printer. Uh, I welcome all the new subscribers and uh, we're going to keep going on with this printer. I do want to start designing mounts for the power supply. A uh, solid state relay is going to go down at the bottom here. And then the back is where the main board and Raspberry Pi and such will go just to make the wiring a bit shorter. So I have that left to do. Um, I should disclaimer the video, this printer is a prototype. I don't have a heated bed yet. I have to order a heated bed uh, for this to start doing testing. I've only printed PLA on this printer with the exception of a little bit of PETG on a couple different versions of it. So just note, again, this is a prototype. Um, there's still some things that are untested, so kind of build this uh, at your own discretion. It's a uh, very nice printer for myself. That's kind of why I designed it. This is my PLA printer. I don't ever intend to enclose this printer, but I don't see why you'd have any issues um, enclosing this, printing out all the parts in ABS, and having a, a really good printer. So, uh, yeah, look out for some future videos, and thanks again, everyone.